Sometimes you have to really wonder what goes through a driver's mind when putting other road users' lives in danger, such as this one video that I found on Twitter. So I'll link the original tweet in the description below, and this is the tweet that it came from. But I will come back to that in a moment with some comments that are written about that. But here's the clip itself. So this cyclist is clearly about to approach a roundabout, but let's take a look and see what happens and let's see if you can figure out which road user is to blame here. Let's roll this clip. So obviously coming up to the roundabout, a couple of vehicles here. Oh, look, a vehicle drives straight in front. Now, let's just wind that back very slightly. Um, it's quite clear this cyclist is on the roundabout. Now, if you recall, about a year ago, I said that these rules would cause chaos because other drivers just wouldn't follow the rules. Now, as we work our way forwards in this clip, there is absolutely no excuse whatsoever for this Land Rover not to have seen this cyclist on the road, on the roundabout here. Now, if we go back to the tweet just for a moment to see what this cyclist wrote about this incident, a bit too close for comfort. This is happening far too frequently. I've got a helmet light and a bike light. Over £300 worth. And still they don't see me or think I've got right of way. So moving back to the clip once more. Let's take another look. So just at this point, coming onto the roundabout. And this Land Rover just blazingly just drives straight in front of the cyclist and the registration plate is quite clear. So I don't often comment on things that could potentially be a live uh, investigation, but it's free speech and uh, freedom of expression and all that. And in my view, this was quite directly putting this cyclist's life in danger because had the cyclist not been able to stop in time, he would have been in front of that Land Rover. And so in my mind, that is dangerous driving as clear as it could get. Do let me know in the comments what you think, but that's what I think. I think it's dangerous driving. And I think that this Land Rover Range Rover driver should be held accountable. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time.